This is how I coat a flat. Scrape it. I load a little bit at the top of the joint and a little bit at the bottom. And I'm using a curved 12 inch trowel. It's got a, a little curve in it. And I'm able to do these joints in one coat as long as I make sure that the bevel is full. So I use my eight inch knife and I, I actually mudded these all by hand with an eight inch knife. So when I checked it with the eight inch knife or even the trowel, there's nothing left to fill. So I'm just using a 12 curve and one coat. That's it. So when I do that, I keep my trowel on a 45. Okay, not this way, because now if you're plowing this way, it's gonna shoot it all right on the edge of the wall. Okay, and if you do it the other way, it shoots all the mud in the center of your joint. And then to center, to do the center, then I just put my trowel perfectly flat to totally utilize the curve of the trowel. Okay, and I'm just gonna keep going edge edge, center, edge, edge, center, until all these little pinholes are gone and I don't get, because my bed of mud is wider than my trowel, so I don't want those lines that the trowel leaves exactly at 12 inches, all right? So, let's get at her. Top. And the center. Okay, I'm I'm good to do it one more time. Now, yes, it is more tedious to make sure that that coat is perfect, but I'd rather do it once, right? So I'll reposition. All right, now here. I got, well, you can't really see it. Hold on. All right, I think that's better. Uh, I have to put my trowel on the ground. I'm taking off all the scoopers. All right, so again, scrape. Okay. And here I'm just scraping the lap marks. because they want tile shower now. So let's just do this center one with the curve because it's not rocking on the wall. It's, it's hollow a little bit, so. But like I said, not a lot, very, very little, which is good in a way but in a way it's not because now I kind of have to do it by hand or, or do two coats with the boxes. Probably, or I don't know, maybe, maybe one box, but, but either way, it's the walls, it's the easiest part. The ceiling, I boxed it with the, the machine. See, if you look really quick, see, I just boxed it with the 10. And honestly, for a textured ceiling, it looks good. I'm just gonna touch up um, a few spots. 
and obviously the butt joints because you can see, well, there's, um, you can see the, the tape and on the ceiling there too. So what I do is I'll just uh, use my flat trowel for that and do all the butts and beads. And because I just got one more coat on uh, my corner beads, so because I used the corner trowel for my first coat and then a flat trowel for a tight skin. But lately I've been using just my 10 inch knife because I can pull it tighter with the knife than with the trowel I find. And especially because my 13 inch trowel is like five inches wide, so it's got a lot more flex. It's really broken in. But it does a nice butt joint. And presto. All right. And then there's a couple, a couple of small ones right there. And just bang those off real quick. Okay. Start with these little buggers. center. So I do the top edge, bottom edge, and you really got to make sure not to pull all of your mud at the end of the wall. You got to leave some right at the starting because that's what happens when you sand your angles. You end up exposing the tape right here because your pull sander goes over it a lot. So I will touch it up by hand with a six or whatever if I need it, but it's easier to just leave it thicker by hand. With the boxes, you always end up having to touch your starts and stops. So, but that's it for the joints. See, like I already did the washroom and this joint here is um, one coat and I could sand that very easily and it makes it a lot easier with the power sander because I barely even have to go over it it lays it out beautifully flat huh? and that's it for today guys thank you